Just a few months ago, I reviewed this budget rod which is called Ace Hawk Benham. Then then, Ace Hawk came out with a fresher or renewed version of the same rod. So, in this video, we will compare what are the differences and what are the improvements. So, I hope it will be very, very useful for you because this rod is great and it was great initially, but now they made it even better. So, the newer version will be at the top here and the older version at the bottom, as you can see in the shot. And let's begin with the butt section, I guess, and let's compare like each of them side by side and you will see some differences immediately. So, as you can see on the newer version, we have the real seat a little bit more up or towards the end of the tip. Again, for me, it's not a big deal. I was quite happy with the original one. Also, you will see the difference here. So. On the original version they had this little skull drawing and on the newer version they have Ace Hawk logo here. The real seat itself looks exactly the same and what they did actually not sure if they did listen to my recommendation or not because I mentioned this in the initial initial video so you will see that the screw on the newer version is probably three to four millimeters kind of longer. So on the original version, it was just enough, you know, you, you had to squeeze the screw just to make sure to be able to secure the reel. Again, it was not really a flaw, but now it's, it's better, it's easier. And from here, we have everything the same, more or less. Maybe the end of lacquered section is a little bit shorter on the newer version and then let's move forward the lengths of the rod or of the sections are exactly the same but on the newer version as you can see they added this little bit again it's only cosmetics to my understanding but it's here and also what they did with the newer version, I can't verify that, but they are saying that instead of 24 ton carbon used in the older model, now they are using 30 ton carbon in the newer model. So that's very, very good. 30 ton carbon obviously is more expensive and it gives the rod a little bit more kind of strength the, the rod won't be lighter, that's for sure, but rod just might be a little bit stronger and not as fragile. Okay, and I guess the rest of the sections will be exactly the same, but just let's have a look. Actually, guide placement on the, on the new tip is a little bit different just probably by by maybe a half a centimeter or so interesting and the section is a little bit shorter and it has uh, this cosmetic bit as well so that changed as well And the tip sections probably will will be exactly the same. Yeah, tip sections are one to one. Can't see any differences unless I mixed those tips uh, already because I have quite a few spares. But yeah, they do look the same here. So yeah, all in all, very very welcome updates, especially on the on the carbon used and on the real seat or the screw being you know uh, longer on the on the newer section i 
uh, I'm just looking how to demonstrate to you that it's actually longer on the newer section on the newer version. So just now you should be able to see that on the top rod here, the screw is just like, as I say, a couple millimeters longer and it's enough, you know, basically where that green ring is. So this is where the screw ends and you will see that a couple millimeters difference will be enough to put a reel just, you know, just easier and simpler, you know, maybe. So yeah, I hope this video will be useful and it will help you to decide whether you need this kind of a rod. Again, very, very good to see that affordable rods are getting kind of improvements so quickly. Obviously, Ace Hawk is good as a rod producer is very good when it comes to listening to anglers and they listened and they improved areas which needed the improvement, especially when it comes to the real seat or the length of the screw. So yeah, I will leave links below for this rod. Check them out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.